What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, um, as bad as things are for the Cowboys, they look rosy, and I'm not wearing rose-colored glasses here either, uh, compared to the New York Giants. You know, it's funny listening and thinking about some of the things that my buddy Rashid was talking about. You know, Daniel Jones, he's a winner. You know, I don't want no Dak Prescott because he's not a winner. Well, the Giants apparently think they could do more winning without Daniel Jones because they're not picking up the 50-year option, allegedly. And basically, their GM is basically saying, you want one of our players, pick up the phone, give us a call, we'll hook you up today. Because, like, Barkley, you know, apparently, and a guy who I've said, you know, he's getting close to that bust category. He really is. Um, he's definitely on the trading block. Well, the Giants have now released Kyle Rudolph. Kyle Rudolph. And, and this is where you, you, you hate to say this, but this is one of the Cowboys' biggest flaws is they sign players that are injured. And Kyle Rudolph was injured when the Giants signed him. And see, Kyle Rudolph is one of those guys who you think about what he did in Minnesota, you know, where he was great. He was great in Minnesota there. And you looked and said, yeah, man, that's a great tight end. But where he is now with the injury in the twilight of his career, he's not the same guy. And it's funny because I put up a video just a few minutes ago about the Cowboys uh, they've already talked with three tight ends, um, done interviews with them, and, uh, you know, definitely seem to be, they're realizing the importance of a tight end. And somebody immediately posted, we don't need no tight end. Uh, you know, it's like, no, you don't seem to understand how important tight ends are in the NFL. Take a look at your last Super Bowl teams over the last 10 years. Most of the teams that go to the Super Bowl have a great tight end, or if not, great one, they actually have two. And tight end, when the season gets long, and it's harder to throw the ball downfield where everybody's broke down, having that game-changing tight end, a George Kettle, a, a Dallas um, Goddard, you know, uh, a, it used to be a Kyle Rudolph, are guys that make the difference, and we haven't had a lights-out tight end since Jason Witten was younger. And that's one of those areas that we look at and you say you must improve on. But back to the Giants right now. The Cowboys, if they have a chance to repeat as division champs, I don't think that the Giants would be the one to upseat them. I just don't. The Giants are in horrendous shape. Their offensive line is terrible. Kenny Galladay got injured as soon as they signed his ass. Kyle Rudolph was injured when they got him. Their offensive line stinks. There is very little that you can hang your hat on if you are a New York Giant fan. And I believe Pizzle, you know, he's going to be betting every week regardless of what they have out there because that's what Pizzle does. But I almost would have to say at this point that the Giants got no chance in hell of turning this thing around in one year. They need a complete do-over. They have been so screwed by Dave Gettleman, you know, literally the blind leading the blind, that the cupboards are bare. The draft picks that they've had, number one picks, have been literally just bust. And there's no fixing what's there. You've got to just rip that mother humper down, burn it down to the ground, bulldoze all the dirt and the debris and haul all that shit away and just start completely over. That's all they can do. There's nothing else that they can do but start completely over. Now, of course, you've got the Eagles who still have some question marks about Jalen Hurts. Hurts can, can run the football. He's really good at that. And he was efficient as far as his passion's going, passing going. But that'll only get you so far. And they have a lot of work that they need to do, but they are a scary team. Washington, hmm, Washington, 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 Washington is desperate to find a quarterback, and they believe if they can just get a quarterback, 
that they'll be in great shape. But I think that Washington still has some other flaws uh, beyond just quarterback that need to be addressed. And um, I think they'll be better next year if they can get a quarterback. But I don't know that they're ready to win the division yet. And it may end up being that the Cowboys, if we could have a good draft, if we can find some good value free agents, that we could take the division again and be the first team to um, beat the curse of the NFC East. It'd be nice to see that happen. Um, at least hang our hat on two good seasons in a row and maybe try and do something in the playoffs. Here's the thing. You can't teach an old dog new tricks and the Cowboys are stuck in their mindset of they know what they're doing and what they're doing is just fine. But you really look at it, teams that have said, damn the torpedoes, full steam ahead, we're going to go out we're going to get some players have been more successful in pushing all the chips in. And I think that this is the opportunity for the Cowboys to be able to push all the chips in. Your division is weak. It's weak. Yes, you're going to have a first place schedule. You're going to have to play some of the big boys as well. But you know what? If you want to be the man, you've got to beat the man. And if the Cowboys can get that offensive line fixed, I'm telling you, the offensive line is the biggest key to end their woes. And if they can just go ahead and invest some money in the middle of the field, middle linebacker, and a run-stopping beast, that would make all the difference in the world for this team. I'm serious. Run stopper, good middle linebacker, and offensive line, and a tight end. Giants, on the other hand, they need a complete lobotomy. Just, just rip all it. Just rip it all out. You know, just burn it down. Burn it down. Washington. You know. You know, Washington. I, I just can't even take you seriously. I, I, it was hard to take you seriously without a name, but I think you were better off without a name than Washington Commanders away. You know, Commanders. You ain't commanded shit. All right, y'all. Hope you're having a great day. Gotta take care of some business. Go to Home Depot, pick up some stuff. <sighs> I would love to take a nap, but can't do that. All right. I'm going to catch you on the flip side, y'all. Peace.